Buenos dias. We want to share with you a marvelous experience. The public that participated in formulating the rail yard proposal packed the council chambers in anticipation of the city council's vote. The councilors enthusiastically and unanimously adopted the community plan. The RUDAT team had just made a final presentation to the public. The result of a four-day charade following eight months of community education and design effort. Put this toward the first tree, okay? <laughs> Let's take a look back at the process that led to this important triumph of the will of the people of Santa Fe. Have four maps here that describe the rail yard property. The public hearings began where any person or group could present their ideas. Subi Bowden of the Santa Fe chapter of the American Institute of Architects presented the 50 acre property layout. They then cross St. Francis at this point and they wrap up along the railroad tracks up through, um, this is Cerrillos, this is Guadalupe, Paseo de Peralta. It crosses Paseo de Peralta and extends up to the northern part of the property. She pointed out two conditions which the city's land purchase was subject to. First, 10 contiguous acres are to be used as a park. Secondly, the initial financing provided by the National Trust for Public Lands and the city mandated a comprehensive payback plan. This tree's been there for a long time and it's going to take a long time to realize the vision of this plan. We have a historic depot and we have a Gross Kelly historic building here that are related very much to the last 120 years of history in, in this town. Uh, they're both very human buildings. They're very approachable. They look, they look interesting. There's no way the farmer's market's not going to be in that place. Okay, so don't worry about the plan. We're going to come down here and negotiate the deal. And <laughs> CCA Teen Center, which is located on the corner of uh, Guadalupe area and Paseo de Peralta, right next to the railroad tracks where we hear the railroad make sounds with the train and people waving goodbye and hello. And the teens feel that this centralized area is very important because it provides them with a sense of belonging. It's effort uh, of citizens within the city of Santa Fe uh, to gain support for the idea of a cultural center. You know, a caboose is basically a room that's 10 feet wide and 30 feet, 25 feet long with all kinds of light a very sturdy structure and you can gut the whole thing and do what you want. There were many public forums for interested groups which included small businesses, senior citizens, alternative medicine groups, arts groups, and many others. Projects of this type do not always require extensive outside expertise. Primarily, local consultants participated in the process. There were, however, a couple of nationally known experts. In early December of 1996, a 15-page questionnaire was distributed to the public, with over 600 persons responding fully. At the end of January of 1997, the community was invited to a weekend to design and plan the rail yard in accordance with the wishes and ideas expressed in the polls. Over 100 people participated in separate study groups and developed eight conceptual plan interpretations. All were summarized into a community report. The National RUDAT team, consisting of 10 volunteer advisors, arrived for a four-day charrette. Following the official briefings and a full day to review the massive accumulation of data gathered from the polls and from the public meetings, the team met in open forum where they could hear directly from the public. In the two days that followed, they began designing and formulating an overall plan with the assistance of the local chapter of the AIA. By 4.30 in the morning on Monday, they submitted for printing a report which included photographs, plans, interpretive analyses, and financial calculations. At 4.30 that afternoon, the printer delivered a 22-page report. 
Later that evening, the team presented its recommendations to an enthusiastic public. We have laid out the first five years in this chart at the top. Uh, we see this as a piece of the total overall parks and trail system for uh, the city of Santa Fe. You see it really does form an essential link to some uh, community parks and then, of course, the river. Uh, so we've taken the liberty of designing most of your city here. Like us to stay for another three days? <laughs> First step, put something that says, here's what here's what can be there, how do you get it started, how do you make it real? The very important recommendations that we're making is that you establish um, an authority, some entity that has specific management responsibility. The planning process was long and arduous, but extremely rewarding. No city should do any long-range planning without such a community adventure as that experience with the Santa Fe Rail Yard project. Hasta luego.